children. And so I am the CEO and founder of Safe Haven Baby Boxes. We're the only organization in America today that is literally saving babies in boxes at fire stations and hospitals in multiple states. I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, uh, last year we had a baby in our Benton, Arkansas baby box, a, a beautiful little boy uh, that was saved that has now been adopted. Um, we've had two babies this year in our boxes in Indiana, uh, with the last one being two weeks ago in the upper corridor up by Chicago. Um, and this gives women the option of anonymous surrender. Uh, the safe haven law has been around for the last 20 years where a woman can walk into these fire stations, but they had to always face someone. Today in Conway, Arkansas, we are taking the face-to-face -face interaction away if she chooses and allowing this box to offer no shame, no blame, and no names. And that is an exciting thing for women in Conway, Arkansas today. Tell you a little bit about why I'm so passionate about Safe Haven Baby Boxes. I have to take you back a little ways to August of 1972, when a young 17-year-old girl was brutally attacked and raped and left along the side of the road. And this, of course, was when abortion was illegal in our country, even in the cases of rape and incest. This 17-year-old girl was strong enough to press charges against a man who had raped her. He was arrested and he was charged. And if that wasn't the worst of it, when her life was finally getting back to normal, she finds out she's pregnant. She was hidden for the remainder of the pregnancy, taken out of high school, and she gave birth in April of 1973 and abandoned her child two hours after that child was born. And that child was me. So my biological father is a rapist and I don't even know my ethnicity but I am still a human being and I still have value. My life isn't worth less simply because of the way I came to be. And today I stand on the front lines of this movement, making sure that every woman who has a story <coughs> is protected and her child is protected in the process. And so I, I'm honored to be here in Conway, Arkansas today for the, fifth, for the 75th box in the country and the fifth baby box in the state of Arkansas. Thank you guys so much for inviting me. This, this program would not have been possible without the support of your local government here. Uh, next, I'd like to introduce Mayor Bart Castleberry. Good morning, everyone. You know, in the book of Jeremiah, God told Jeremiah, said, Before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. The Lord will know the name of every child that goes into this box, too. And just like Monica's story, what a tremendous story. Just like that, I won't be here 15, 20 years from now, but some of you will be, and there will be a young adult standing up here saying, my life started here at the Conway Fire Department Baby Safe Baby Box. Uh, Chief Winter, you and your personnel who have stepped forward to do this, I want to commend you and thank you. Monica, thank you for your story. And this does, this will this will impact the lives of some, some little ones who are too little to speak for themselves right now, but it'll also have a positive impact on Young so thank you all for being here today. At this time, I'd like to introduce Ty Ledbetter. Uh, many of you know him as the COVID cowboy. But, uh, <laughs> Ty, we, we put a lot of pressure on him, but he has stepped up and done a great job. I've uh, known his mom and daddy for a long time. He's got a great mama. Where's his daddy? I don't know he's here somewhere. Anyway, Ty Ledbetter. Thanks, Mayor. Um, I was really hoping to get out of this without talking about COVID, but I guess we, we didn't really escape that. First off, I would really like to thank the mayor and Chief Winter for allowing us to do this. Um, one of the biggest fears of mine was going up to Chief Winter's office and telling him that we are going to try to tear a hole in the side of this building. Uh, this building is one of the oldest and most historic buildings in Conway, so I'm very grateful for them allowing us to do this. And it couldn't be possible with, without Greg Hegel from Hegel Building Solutions. Uh, I was, Greg, I was honestly a, a nervous wreck every time you guys did something. Uh, but I had full confidence and they did a spectacular job. Uh, lastly, I'd like to thank our community. This box was 100% funded by our community. And it was done in a matter of days. I, I fully expected this thing to, to drag out over a year-long period raising the amount of money needed to get the box here and get it installed. But it, it came a lot quicker than, than what I expected. And in fact, I had to kind of slow down and think about what our next step was because I was expecting it to be drawn out. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys all of your, for all of your support and thank you for coming out today. 
Chief Myron Milholland will do the blessing of the box. It's a great opportunity today to dedicate a baby box that really does represent our valuing life and uh, humans. I'm thankful for the opportunity to come and just uh, yeah. Can you hear louder? I'm thankful that you are here to be a part of this. And I'd like for us to bow our heads together and dedicate this box to the Lord. If you would, just join me in prayer. My Father in heaven, how marvelous are you, the Creator? Lord, you are the Creator of all things, the Father of life. Lord, I'm thankful for the life you've given me and for all those who are present. Lord, you, you knit us together in our mother's womb. We just praise you for that. Your word tells us that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Lord, I'm thankful that you give us value and worth. So much so that you sent Jesus Christ to Give us of our sins by his death on the cross and give us eternal life for all who believe. Just thank you, Lord, for being the Father of life and giving life and eternal life. Father, I pray that you would bless this day, bless this baby box and what it represents. Lord, I pray that you would bless the mothers who choose life. And Lord, if there was a mother to choose this baby box here, for whatever reason it might be in her life to do so, that she would choose not to abandon or abort, but rather to offer her baby here to receive love and care. But I pray for the family you're possibly preparing to receive the baby to raise as their own, to give love and life, hope and future in you. Father, we dedicate this box to you. You are life. You give us life and you offer us eternal life in Christ. We're forever thankful. I pray that you bless this box, what it represents, and you help us always value one another, especially in the life of the unborn. We honor you today in this dedication. In Christ we pray. Amen.